They say there are two guarantees in life, death and taxes, neither of which have anything to do with today's recipe. We're making beef stew. Milton, fetch me my apron. Let's begin. We begin by first apologizing to the French for the abomination of the pronunciation mirepoix, a mix of finely diced aromatic vegetables. Traditionally made up of onions, celery, carrots, and leeks, but different cultures have their own variation. The concept is simple. Slowly cook these vegetables at the beginning of a stew or soup to lay down a foundation or base of flavors to build upon. Continuing with the prep, quarter six red potatoes and place in cold water to prevent from turning brown. Next up, roughly chop five cloves of garlic and set aside. Lay down a piece of cheesecloth and place your bay leaves, thyme, and rosemary in the center. We're creating an aromatic bouquet, which will be a hell of a lot easier to fish out when the stew is complete. See what I mean? Okay, so slide the two pieces of cooking twine under your delicately wrapped bundle of bliss and tie like so. On with the meat. This is two pounds of beef chuck that we're going to cut into bite-sized cubes. Transfer the pieces into a bowl, season with salt and pepper, and add four tablespoons of flour. This is going to thicken up the broth. Now get in there with your hands until the beef is evenly coated. Place a Dutch oven on medium-high heat and add olive oil. In batches, add the meat and brown evenly on all sides. We're not looking to cook the beef here, we just want to give them a good sear. Once everyone has been kissed by a stove on the range, lower the heat, transfer it to a plate, and add your chopped onion. It's time to mirepoix. Stir constantly to avoid the onion from burning. We're looking to sweat the veggies instead of caramelizing them. After a few minutes, add your carrots. After a few carrots, add the celery. Once all the veggies have softened, about 10 minutes, add the garlic and one tablespoon of tomato paste. Stir to combine and add two cups of dry red wine. Turn the heat up to a medium high and reduce the wine, about five minutes. Once reduced by at least half, add four cups of beef stock, toss in your bouquet bundle of aromatics and season with salt and pepper. Add the beef chuck and their juices, bring everything to a simmer and cover for 1.5 hours. One and a half hours later, add the red potatoes from earlier. This is a good time to give everything a stir and taste for seasoning. Place the cover back on for one hour to allow the spuds to cook through. After an hour, remove the pot from the heat and allow to sit for 30 minutes before serving. Taste for seasoning one last time and plate up. As the weather gets colder, there's very few meals that are gonna warm your soul like a bowl of beef stew. Let's taste it. The beef melts in your mouth. All the flavors are married together in such a way, it's hard to explain in words. If you haven't tried a good old fashioned beef stew on the stove top, I strongly encourage you to do so. With that being said, as always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I'll see you in the next one.